One of the cool things you could do, you could do things that you can't do at home. Oh, right now we are right over Africa. It's a little bit cloudy, as you can tell. But we're right over the continent of Africa. Like Superman. Here we are at the throne. And of course, it serves for two functions. Number two, right here. I'll show you. But you see it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim. Be ready to make sure things get let go the right direction. And this guy right here is for number one. So they're sort of two slightly separate functions, but you can do a little, essentially both, by hanging on right here and doing number one and number two. I might add it's color coded so you really don't get it mixed up which is nice. This is yellows for number one. <laughs> and did I mention both of these have a little bit of suction so they should keep things going in the right direction. This is the cupola. It sti sticks down below the uh, space station. Uh, it's one of those places you find yourself hanging out in all the time because all you want to do is look back at our planet and you can't help but want to just come to the cupola and, and look outside as much as you can. I, I play this game with myself about where we're flying over the earth. I try to come in here and just guess. After being here for a little while, you can sort of figure it out. You can tell different cloud types over different continents. You can tell different soil types over different continents. So let's see. I will tell you in just a moment where we are. There we go. Oh, right now we are right over Africa. It's a little bit cloudy, as you can tell. But we're right over the continent of Africa. Hey, what's that? I think that's a Soyuz spacecraft. That's the spacecraft that's taken us home to planet Earth today. Oh my gosh. One of the things we also do is we exercise. We have some exercise equipment on board the space station. Um, we need to do that because we lose bone density and muscle mass while we're up here. And that's a result of not having to fight against gravity. So how we keep ourselves in shape are with a bike, a treadmill, and a weightlifting machine. This is the bike. You notice the clip pedals. So all you need to do is actually clip your feet in and then you can start pedaling. You don't need a seat because you don't sit down. Actually, I haven't sat down for six months now, so you don't need any, any type of seat. Just make sure you're, you're held in with your pedals. <laughs> One of the cool things you could do, you could do things that you can't do at home. For example, single leg squats with just one leg because the other leg, you won't fall over. You can also do bench press. We have a bench that we could add on here so you can work on your beach muscles. <laughs> this is where four out of six of us sleep. And so people always ask about sleeping in space. Do you lie down? Are you in a bed? Um, not really, because it doesn't matter. You don't really have the sensation of lying down. You just sit in your sleeping bag. Here's one sleep station right here. I'm going in right now. You can follow me if you want. So I'm inside. It's sort of like a little phone booth, um, but it's pretty comfy. I've got a sleeping bag. Um, but you know, you can sleep in any orientation. I have it sleeping, feeling like I'm standing up right now, but like you saw, I'm on the floor, but it doesn't matter if I turn over and I sleep upside down. I can't have it, I don't have any sensation in my head that tells me that I'm upside down, so it really doesn't matter. And just for reference, that's one sleep station. This one's another, right here. There's one on the ceiling, if you want to call it, right here. And then there's a fourth on the other wall over here. So all of us sleep in a little bit of a, a circle. This is our kitchen. You might notice there's all sorts of foods here. Uh, it's like opening the refrigerator. You got all your different stuff that you want to have. Drinks, meats, eggs, vegetables, cereals. Uh, bread, uh, snacks, 
And that's a good place. That's where you find all the candy. Some of it is dehydrated, and so we have to hydrate it, fill it up with water. Some of it is all ready made, and then all we have to do is heat it up. So something like this, I'm pulling out barbecued beef brisket. Pretty yummy. I'm here with my two buddies uh, in the airlock. Somebody's little head would be inside of here. So you can see, you can turn your head all the way around while you're inside of there, but the helmet stays still. It's usually pretty sunny out there, so we have to wear our sunglasses, and this is our sunglasses right here, which make you look pretty cool. This is one of the cool things about space, too. It sort of looks like there's a big old hole here, but you don't even think twice about it. You can just jump over the hole, or if you want, you can go jump into the hole. I'm coming down. <laughs> then you can come right back up again, like Superman. Woo! <laughs> so we're going into the Russian segment. Be ready. You don't need a passport either. Hi. Doing a little tour. in the heart of the space station, really. This is the service mall, module. This is the central post. Some of the things we have to worry about in space are fire. If we had a depressurization, like we were hit by a micrometeorite and it made a hole. If we have any of those problems, we come right here, which we call the central post. It is the main heart uh, of the space station. It's a pretty safe ride home. You're probably wondering, what's all this junk behind us? Well, it's all of our parachute, first of all, and then it's all of our survival gear, just in case we end up landing in some strange place on the planet and nobody's there to rescue us right away. We have all sorts of survival gear uh, with us, keeping us safe in here. So they've pretty much thought of everything. And uh, we'll be home on the planet within the next 12 hours. Pretty shocking. 